Welcome everybody back to a World of Worship Bits video. Um, this time I'm filling in a gap in my um, in my ships, the De Grasse, which is the tier six premium um, French cruiser. So the De Grasse came out before the French cruiser line. The De Grasse is very much similar to the um, the mainline tier six um, French cruiser except it has um, the air defense instead of rapid reload and to be honest with this ship I prefer the rapid reload so um, that probably gives the game away it has slightly higher fire chance like one percent higher I think it's eight or nine rather than seven or eight um, but yeah uh, to be fair um, the mainline ship may actually be um, the better bet which is a bit of a pity, but apart from the fact this has fantastic camouflage. So I do, you know, I am at the moment I'm collecting historical camouflages and I do want this historical camouflage because it looks so awesome. Um, I have other historical camouflages to get first. So let's just um, see if we can get some hits on that Leningrad. Um, so as a French cruiser, it's got fantastic HE. Um, so let's just show a bit of angle here. Um, we'll put some torpedoes out. He's probably trying to dodge those, but he's going to get a bit of a shock because there's more coming in. Uh, if he survives that long. Yep, got the kill. Um, fantastic. So you can see um, 22 main battery hits, two fires started. Which is pretty, yeah, well, we've been pretty lucky, but still. Um, so basically with French cruisers, they're very much like Russian cruisers. Fight at range, fight with HE. They have longer range torpedoes. They have slightly more maneuverability, but yeah, they're still fairly weakly armoured. Um, so I do struggle with them, to be fair. Um, I often have... I can have good games in them, and I think I've had a you know an almost hundred thousand dollar damage, a uh, hundred thousand um, damage game in the um, in the Degrasse, um, but that's exceptional. So essentially, what happens is that um, if I start using them like I use British cruisers, then yeah, I get badly punished. So right, we had our nose in when we um, when he fired his. Um, main guns at us, that Leningrad, oh there we go, look at that, so now we can start to focus on that Leningrad, start defending our, um, our battleships, um, and we'll start saturating that smoke cloud to see if we can land something, um, if that Leningrad knows what's good for him he's probably backed out of it, that, um, so Oh, there we go, there's the um, Leningrad. Our battleship is probably a little bit exposed, but he's got behind the island, and if he keeps the turn up behind the island, um, the Leningrad won't be able to get his torpedoes off. He has, he has a mate in the form of a destroyer, so um, that's good. Um, I'll start dealing with the carrier. So, uh, we have one destroyer missing. Um, there's not really a lot I can do about that, so um, that destroyer may take down our carrier, so he's going on a carrier snipe, so um, of course we're on a carrier snipe too. Um, we get the torpedoes off, so that we force him to um, get back into a ship and do some more movement. It's all about keeping the carrier busy at this point, so he's got um, the carrier guns, he's got um, the carrier movement, He's got his bombers to try and uh, put on target, which is nice and easy. He's got his torpedo bombers, and if I keep the turn up, what will happen is that that will force him to keep um, responding to his torpedo bombers. We, we sweep two of them. He uh, is reversing, which means that my torpedoes ran out of puff. But it means that we are now in the, um, in the cap. And looking down at our cap down to the south... Um, Graf Zeffler, well, okay, he tried to, um, um, he tried to carry a, um, carry a snipe or 
He tried to do the uh, the 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 the, um, the carrier thing in the destroyer, and we had a graph zeppelin. So yeah, it's probably the graph zeppelin is actually of all the carriers capable of um, dealing with destroyers. The graph zeppelin is perhaps the most capable. So here, um, what I need to do is get my torpedoes off in a way that doesn't miss, and I should be able to deal with this. There we go. Right. They're just the Leningrad remaining. We've got a destroyer and a carrier working on them. Um, so this battle's pretty much a foregone conclusion. Um, the last torpedo bombers were fairly accurate. The guy had fairly good, good sense of timing with his torpedo bombers, but unfortunately they dropped too close and he couldn't, you know, once the carrier goes down, he loses control. Um, the Leningrad takes down at Ernst Gaida, but I'm sure he would have taken some damage and by the looks of it, the, it was all the Graf Zeffelin needed. Probably some secondaries there, so the Graf Zeffelin's probably feeling more like a cruiser player than a carrier player. But that's that's the wonderful thing about the Graf Zeffelin. Anyway, so that's the De Graf's. Um, good game, um, very enjoyable. Um, long range, HE. Um, the torpedoes are sort of useful, um, but... Um, they do have widespread, so at long range expect only one or two to hit, if that. Um, yeah, three ships sunk, 119 hits and four torpedo hits for seven fires. It's a pretty good fire starter. In fact, it may be the best fire starter in the game. Um, someone else can do the maths. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you.